Today's devotional, Hope During Earth Crisis, Through the Eyes of Ellen G. White Last Day's Events. May 6, Sunday Laws. When our nation shall abjure the principles of its government as to enact a Sunday law, Protestantism will in this act join hands with Popery. Protestants will throw their whole influence and strength on the side of the papacy. By a national act enforcing the false Sabbath, they will give life and vigor to the corrupt faith of Rome, reviving her tyranny and oppression of conscience. Sooner or later, Sunday laws will be passed. Soon the Sunday laws will be enforced and men in positions of trust will be embittered against the little handful of God's commandment-keeping people. The prophecy of Revelation 13 declares that the power represented by the beast with lamb-like horns shall cause the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the papacy, there symbolized by the beast like unto a leopard. This prophecy will be fulfilled when the United States shall enforce Sunday observance, which Rome claims as the special acknowledgement of her supremacy. Political corruption is destroying love and justice and regard for truth, and even in free America, rulers and legislators, in order to secure public favor, will yield to the popular demand for a law enforcing Sunday observance. Satan puts his interpretation upon events, and they think, as he would have them, that the calamities which fill the land are a result of Sunday breaking. Thinking to appease the wrath of God, these influential men make laws enforcing Sunday observance. This very class put forth the claim that the fast-spreading corruption is largely attributable to the desecration of the so-called Christian Sabbath, and that the enforcement of Sunday observance would greatly improve the morals of society. This claim is especially urged in America, where the doctrine of the true Sabbath has been most widely preached. Today's devotional, May 6, Last Day's Events, Love, Purse, and Hope in the Second Coming of Jesus Christ.